Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an update a year after <laughs> of my surgery that I had. This is the only reason I'm posting this video is just because so many people were asking if I'm okay. <laughs> so I'm just fine. Um, I took a break from YouTube because my dad passed away. And that's really, that's it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to come back to YouTube. I'm still not really sure. Regarding my surgery, I had a total hysterectomy to correct and fix my prolapse. And I had stage three. My uterus was removed, but I still have both of my ovaries. Surgery was exactly a year ago. In March, actually. It was supposed to be in January, but because of COVID at the time, it was postponed for an additional two months. And then the day of my surgery, they said I need to have a certain test done, which they never told me about. So the day of my surgery, it was postponed again. That was frustrating. But my actual surgery was the best decision I have ever made in my life. The way I feel today is so much better than all the years combined. Hi, this is my child who made my prolapse like terrible. Go talk to a urogynecologist. That's the doctor that is specialized in talking about anything regarding your uterus and all the other things too. They're gonna have you go through a couple different tests with measurements and seeing if you actually have a prolapse, what stage you have and everything. He's the best person in the world. Like he was my best friend. When I woke up out of surgery, I asked for him instead of my husband. <laughs> Granted, I was coming off medication and stuff, but he's the one I asked for. I was like, where's my doctor? And they were just looking at me like, you're asking for your doctor? I'm like, I need to see him. <laughs> that should tell you that my surgery was amazing and my surgeon was amazing. I look terrible. I feel like there's no way to look. I look terrible. Leading up to it, there was a lot of like issues with like, you know, miscommunication from the hospital staff and stuff. But the day of my surgery and every day since then, the best thing I could ever do. I would do it a million times again. Okay. I'm out of anesthesia. It's wild, like, yeah, I really want blistex. I feel good that they cut me open like I thought they were. The car ride home. Not that I felt nauseous, but it's just I got a little emotional. And my orthostatic hypertension where I pass out is trying to start. To, I can't make it to the pharmacy with Tony to go get my prescription. So Tony is bringing me home so he can go get it. He just went to go put the dogs in the... Oh gosh, talking a lot makes me feel a little sick. He put them in the dog pen so they don't jump up on me when they see me. I'm going to go inside. I'm trying to get some rest with my three small children. I knew this happened. I'm so glad it happened. And my surgeon, despite everything I went through, and the constant back and forth, he was so nice and what he did. And I'll explain it when I have more breath. I'm so comfortable. Oh, my husband is such a great husband. He helped me get dressed. And he helped me get on the bed with my legs. Finally, there's no way for me to look attractive like this. I was checking in, eating. This soup, it tastes gross. I don't remember even falling asleep anytime I've been going to sleep, but every time I fall asleep, it's such good rest. Like I wake up feeling like, wow, like that was a good night's rest, even though it's daytime. Pain level, I don't feel any pain at all. My throat isn't sore, but um, I was getting sick yesterday from Maya, who got allergies again, allergic cold, so I was starting to get sick. So in terms of like my throat feeling sore, like everyone was saying, that's what I feel instead. I just have certain pains like when I move, like where the incisions are, but I feel like I just need to like lay differently. I, took a, I drank a quarter amount of um, citrate so I could go to the bathroom because I have the urge to go. One of my best friends is here, I'm watching the kids, getting some bonding time. Now, when it comes to the stereotypical things that you hear after getting this surgery, I don't have any periods. I do not have any hot flashes either. I did have hot flashes before my surgery. Now, of course, like when menopause eventually sits in, you know, they might come back. So I always wanted to gain weight. So I'm not complaining that I do have weight gain, but I do have a whole lot of weight gain in my midsections. I did start working out a couple of months ago. Prior to surgery, I was, I think, 137, maybe 142. The last time I weighed myself, I was 167. I've always gained weight there. So I'm not sure if it's related to my natural DNA or if it's related to because that's where my uterus was removed. When it comes to scarring, I can't remember at this point, but whatever it was, it's the robot assistant 
existed. Four scars on my stomach. I don't have that gigantic scar um, at the bottom that they would when they you know open your stomach like for a c-section. I don't have that. I have way more energy than I did prior to surgery. When it comes to sex with prolapse, communication and trying new things and that's basically how you have to make it work until you're able to get surgery or you're able to get something to fix it while you're going through the process or if you're going to live with it. Sex after surgery, even if you've never had kids, a woman can have prolapse because of gravity as you age, as you get older, to make sure that this basically doesn't happen again. He anchored it to my back, so that way it always stays like lifted basically but basically it's a lot shorter for me so it kind of feels like I went back to like when I first lost it you know what I mean like that first those first couple of times that's what it kind of feels like every time now so it's not a bad thing it just went back to normal I guess if you could say that I can't suggest that everyone gets this because everyone's situation is different and I'm not a medical professional but for me this was the best decision I could have ever made in my entire life and I would do it again over and over again if I had to I will respond to you if you reach out in any type of way because I don't want you to feel like you're alone because you're not. Good luck if you guys are on this journey. Otherwise, I may see you in the next video. If not, Happy New Year. Bye guys, thanks for watching.